Hey guys, welcome to my airbags. I'm Eli and right now we are going to remove the airbag restraint control module on this Ford F-150. On the Ford F-150, these are the tools that you're gonna need. I have my power drill, an eight millimeter, 10 millimeter socket, a T20, and for the seat belts, you're going to need a large flat head or a flat bar. Now the first and most important step is to go ahead and disconnect the battery from the car, meaning we don't want any power going into the car while we're working on the airbag system. Whether that's the module, seat belts, or the airbags, we don't want any power. So I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter socket and we're gonna start with the negative here, right here. And we're just gonna loosen it up just a bit, just enough so we can twist off the negative cable from the battery. And we're gonna put it all the way to the side. Same thing on the positive side here. 10 millimeter socket right here. And just loosen it up. Just enough so you can twist it off and put it completely to the side. We don't want that coming back and making any connection with the battery while we're working on it. We're gonna get right inside the car, move the seats all the way back so we have enough room to work with up here. The center console is where we're going for. We're gonna lift up the seat here. We're gonna lift up this bottom part as well. And if you come on in, I'm gonna take this piece off. And you'll notice these two little screws right here. You're going to need a T20 for those screws. And the other one over here. You wanna go ahead and grab it and start removing it from the back. And as you can see, this bench doesn't stay up on its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a bungee cord, rope, whatever you have laying around, just tie it around here. And that'll make it a lot easier when we're working on the module. That way we don't have to constantly keep pulling it up. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars. Plus, you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble codes. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. So now that you can clearly see the module, it's really important that we do have the battery disconnected from the car. There's no power going into the module. Then we're going to go ahead and disconnect the plugs and then the bolts last. We don't want to do it in any other order because you are going to risk deploying your airbags and seat belts. We don't want that. So do it in the correct order, battery, plugs, and then the bolts. The plugs are right up here, there's two of them. And the way we are going to disconnect them is to go ahead and press down on this little button in front of the lever. Press down on that and then push the lever forward. And as the lever comes up, the whole harness will come right out. Push the black button and then the lever forward. 
Now that we have the module unplugged, we're gonna go ahead and start removing the nuts that are holding down the module. On this Ford F-150, they're using a eight millimeter socket for those nuts. And I'm gonna put it on my power drill and go ahead and remove those. This is what the module looks like. It's plugged in right up front over here. And most newer Fords will look just like this. Now, if your car was in an accident and perhaps the dealership or someone has told you these have to be replaced after the accident. Here at MyAirbags.com, we can reset your original module, the one that was in your car during the accident. We can reset your original module and you will be able to safely use it again. Many body shops and collision shops have been using MyAirbags.com for years because it saves them on expensive dealership replacement costs. They don't have to replace these expensive modules with brand new ones. They get the original one reset. Now the seatbelts also deploy and they lock up and they throw codes. You can actually get the seatbelts rebuilt by MyAirbags.com along with your airbag module. Let's take a look at those seatbelts. So if you're a body shop or a collision shop or someone who is used to dealing with salvage cars, you already know that the seatbelts will deploy after an accident. They'll throw codes telling you to replace them. Here at MyAirbags.com, we can professionally rebuild your seatbelts so that you don't have to buy expensive replacement ones at the dealership or use ones that might not correctly fit your vehicle or the color. So here at MyAirbags, you can actually send in the original seatbelts. So let's go ahead and take a look at this seatbelt system here and how it's set up. We want to get to the seatbelt, which is in the pillar on the side here. In order to get to the side pillar, we have to remove the panel but this panel here runs right underneath the foot panel here and i'm going to start here and i'm going to get right underneath here you can use your hands or a flat head or a flat bar to get right between the foot panel here i'm going to lift it up you're going to hear a few pops just like that it's held down by a few little clips that hold it down right over here is a few clips that hold it down so if you pop it right off, no big deal. We're gonna continue up the side here. And at this point, you wanna just grab your flat head or a flat bar and start working the tabs and the clips that hold down this part here. You'll hear some popping noises and that's fine. It's just being held down by the clips. Once you got it popped off, just like that, you can see the clips right there. There's some more on top and at the bottom. Once the front side of it has been worked up, let's go to the back seat and continue from there. Same thing like in the front, I'm gonna pop off this foot panel here first. And then that way, the rest of the side panel will come right with it. And just start working it up. We wanna push it away from the side. Flat bar, or flat head. Get right in there and pop the clips off. Now this piece right here comes right up. You want to go ahead and just grab it from the bottom here and pull up. Just like that, it'll come right up. Those are the clips that were holding it down. And once you have that out, slide the anchor tensioner cable right out. And then this whole plastic piece can come right out. Now we can clearly see the seatbelt set up here on this Ford. Right here is the main anchor pretensioner unit. This is the main part that deploys after an accident. And if you look right here, this is the plug that connects to the airbag system. That yellow and black plug right there. That plug right there, it comes from the airbag system and it tells this part to deploy and lock up after an accident. Now we're gonna have the same thing here on the anchor tensioner. Right here is another plug, similar to the one that you saw up there on the pretensioner. Now, because you see two plugs, this means that this seatbelt system is a dual stage system. There's two parts that deploys. We have the main pretensioner unit right here that deploys. And then we also have this anchor tensioner right here that also deploys. So there's two parts. This is called a dual stage seatbelt. And just like the passenger side here, the driver's side will have the same setup. 
dual stage on the driver's side as well. Now, if we were removing this seatbelt on this Ford, we wanna make sure, of course, that the battery is disconnected. We don't want any power going to the seatbelts. Next, we're going to go ahead and unplug these plugs right here. One plug right there, all the way in there, you wanna unplug it. And then also on the anchor tension right here, this orange and yellow plug, you wanna go ahead and unclip and disconnect. After you have removed the plugs, next is the hardware. You wanna go ahead and remove the bolts. One bolt here, one bolt here. The anchor tension bolt is right over there. And then we have some more up here. It's held down right over here. And then if you follow the seatbelt up, right behind this panel here, there's another bolt holding it right over here. So you wanna go ahead and disconnect this part here then the whole seatbelt will come right out. So after you have removed the deployed seatbelts on the driver and passenger side, you can go ahead and pack those in a box and you can also put in the module in there as well. All you have to do is go to myairbags.com, select your year, make and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out. Once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, We'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.